Hi everybody, I'm Joey with Create with Joey and today I have some really cute cards for you with the Little Dreamers bundle. It's in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up and it's primarily I feel like a baby card or cards set for <clears throat> young children and I'm completely out of baby cards so I thought maybe you could use some ideas too. So I'm going to just get everything going on my technology stuff. So I have my laptop here and I have to get myself on that so I can see your comments because that's the only place I can see your comments. Hi Kathy. So Kathy's on. So oh, I'm glad you're having a beautiful day, Kathy. We are having um, a cloudy day. It's not hot. I'm always, I gotta get everything rearranged here on my desk, but it's, at least it's not hot, but if it's gonna be cloudy, I'm kinda of like, it should just go ahead and rain, because rain is always good, unless you're, of course, having too much of it, but we've had wonderful rains all summer, so it's been so good for our lawns and our gardens. Okay, I'm getting on my iPad here as well, because that's where I can see what you're seeing. Oops. We don't need the volume. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. I know I have to get really close to the camera <laughs> to get all that stuff going because I don't have a very wide desk here. It's fairly narrow. But today, we're going to have some fun with this stamp set, the Little Dreamers stamp set. And we're just going to get right into it, actually. So um, when you come on, say hi. I would love to um, get to know you, and if you share where you're from, then other people can see that too, and that's kind of nice to know sometimes. And then if you haven't um, liked or followed my Facebook page, I would invite you to do that. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching the replay, and if you would like to subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the video, I would love to have you join our community. Alrighty, let me go ahead and get you switched down here. So hang on, I'm going to click a little button here, and then another one, and then I'll go upside down. There we go. And then I'm going to rearrange my phone. Sometimes this takes a minute to get it right. <laughs> oh, looks like we have no light on the subject either. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's actually... Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Hang on a second here. Well, I've, I did print the host code, but... Okay, hang on. I've got it. So sorry, you really need this in order to get the free class this week. So I did have it printed, I just didn't have it uh, taped down. So I'm sorry for the delay. This is the host code through Sunday night where if you use this host code to order $35 or more, you will get the stamp, you will get the class I'm showing you today for free. You'll get two cards of each of what I'm showing you. You also get a PDF tutorial that has um, the photos, close-up photos, all the measurements and directions and then a product list so you you know what i used you can always substitute if you don't have the little dreamer stamp set and you're not going to purchase it very soon you can always purchase that uh, or use something you already have you don't have to purchase it to use the card kit but these are um these are the stamps and dies I've got some of the stamps out because we're going to use them today. But this little die, it punches a lot of little stars at one time. So I'll show you a card, actually, that I made with that. Where I did punch out all those little cards. So, I mean, all those little stars. So you can see the little squirrel or chipmunk, whatever he is, is catching the stars. So I'll hold that down a little bit. I think it was too close. There we go. That's a little bit better. And by the way, friends, um, one of you faithful followers uh, sent me a message that the, the video was blurry in places last week. And I thought, well, what in the world is going on? Well, come to find out, my phone was not on our house Wi-Fi. We'd had a storm the night before, and it um, clicked our modem. And so our modem... 
I wasn't running on the house Wi-Fi, but now I am, so you should be able to see everything clearly. Let me know if you don't see it clearly. Hi, Kelly. Nice to see you. Hi, Jill. Hot Texas. Oh, my gosh. I know you are getting it. The heat down there, Jill. Hi, Julie. And you're having a nice day in Minnesota. How lovely. Okay. Let's get going, my friends. Um, I will show you. One of you just said... Oh, sorry, this is crooked. Let me make a little switch and see if that's better or worse. Nope, worse. Okay. I should always go the opposite way that, that I think I have to go. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let me show you. These are the cards my team made last night. So I have my team meeting. We always provide make and takes for them. Um, so these are, but maybe you want to take screenshots. I'll post these on my blog. So give me a day or two it's createwithjoey.com so that you can have more ideas there's not the ones we're making today but these are the ones i made yesterday for my team and then they made them last night and then this little one um it's kind of a fun fold but i use i use kind of traditional baby colors i mean the pink one definitely is and then the blue one i showed you i made a little bit calm down version of it because I didn't think it would be work, work very well to make those little teeny stars with a group of people trying to stamp it. It's the basic same card as the blue one, only in yellow. So those are some more ideas for you. Okay, let's get started making our cards. So the first card, let me get all the bits pulled out here so I'm ready to go. The first card is, hi Pam, hi, Ka hi Carol, and Cheryl's here. Oh, Thanks so much, everybody, for joining today. Um, and let me just pour out all my bits here so I I have them ready to go. Okay, this is a phone fold card. I'll show you what we're going to make. So this is the card we're going to make, but the surprise is on the inside. So when you open it, you have this cute, the cute little lion holding the star. So this is not hard, this is easy. Anyone can make this. So if you're a new stamper or even a very beginning stamper, you can make this card or you can simplify it to um, be a little bit simpler, but I'll show you t the technique of it so you know how to do it. This is a piece of lemon lime twist and it is cut five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored in the middle on the long side at four and a quarter. This is a piece just a little bit smaller. So this is four inches by eight and a fourth inch. And so it's cut just like a card front and that's the key to the whole thing is this piece of white paper. Hi Carol, oh thank you, I'm so happy you like you like my samples. I honestly, friends, I have had really a lot of fun playing with this stamp set. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I think I did, but I'm 100% out of baby cards. I. I have one that I've been holding on to because I want to keep it for the uh, for a sample and make more of it. All right, now there's no science to this. What I'm doing is I am I'm cutting out this piece. Can you see that? So I'll show you how to do it. So we're just going to take this white piece, and then I'm going to take. You could use a smaller scissors, but I'm going to use my larger one. And I'm going to go down, I'm not quite halfway down, and I'm going to cut about an inch. Maybe even just a touch more, and then I'm going to go down about three quarters of an inch. This is all in the tutorial, so if you put in your order, you'll have all that. Now, I'm probably not going to put this part together yet until, these aren't quite even, until we... Uh, do our little lion holding the star so that I know for sure that he's going to fit here. Now, you see what we have? This is cut on this side. Still not even for Pete's sakes, Joey. Um, you do want these to be even so it folds properly. So we've got this, and then all we're going to do to make that little flap out is we're going to turn this and open it like this, and then we're just going to push this part out like that. Does that make sense? I'm just going to pull that over so that it comes all the way over to these edges of my cuts and then fold down. Okay, 
Makes sense? So that makes our little flip out part. Now you could make a card like this and have something popping up like that. Ours is gonna go like this today. All right, so that's the mechanism, but let's go ahead and get our little tiger stamped and we will get the details done on this so you can see exactly how to make it. So I'm gonna take my scrap paper and we're gonna use Memento Black Ink. And when I have a big stamp like this, I like to turn it upside down and then ink it from the top like this. And with Memento Black, it is, um, it's a harder surface than our other colored ink pads. So I do put quite a bit of ink on it um, since I'm not using a Stamparatus right now. If you have a Stamparatus, that's a great tool to use to make sure if you want to get more ink on your image that you can. So there we go. Got our little lion there. I'm going to clean him off real quick so I don't have a stamp sitting here with ink on it. All right, we are gonna go ahead and color this because I'll show you how I colored them because I used some more, some maybe unusual colors for this little guy. I actually used Lemon Lolly Light, that's one of our new colors, and then I used uh, Dark Daffodil Delight. So, and then the Lemon Lime Twist is light for the star. So let's just go ahead and do the star right now. Now this does take a little while to color, but actually not too bad. I'm not a lover of spending a lot of time coloring, but I do really like to color. So there's our lemon lime what twist star. Yes, I know it's not yellow, but our lion's gonna be yellow. So um, I need to <clears throat> have some contrast. And I wanted the star to be the color of the card since the card is lemon lime twist. So let's go ahead and start with the light lemon lolly. I think this is what I used. I have the dark one handy in case this is too light, but it is a baby card after all. So I'm gonna just gonna color this little lion quickly with the light lemon lolly on the outside of his fur, his outside fur. And then I'm not gonna do a lot of shading today if you like to shade and do things like that. And I do like to do it, but the purpose of this is to show you how to make this card. So I'm not gonna spend too much time doing that. Then I'm gonna take, actually, I think I'll take my dark, my light Daffodil Delight first. And so this is not dark lemon lolly. This is light daffodil delight because I wanted that a little bit more yellow contrast in his tummy and then around his face like so. Now I am going to go back actually. I kind of lied when I said I wasn't going to do any shading because I am going to go back with the dark daffodil delight and I'm going to make his main a little bit darker so this is dark daffodil light and i'm just gonna get some shading under his chin around the side of his face because there would be shading here and then i might go ahead in his tummy too and get a little bit of shading going here okay then just take my then i'll take my light daffodil delight that's one and lolly and then I'll just blend that in a little bit. And then we've got our little, that's all the coloring I'm gonna do on this little guy. So we're gonna just blend these little lines in. These are what, this is why these are called blender pens because they're alcohol based and they just blend right in and make some shading. They're so easy, they can make everybody an artist. So even if you think, I'm not a good colorer, you can color with these. These, these will make you feel like you are a great colorer. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get the big shot in here. Hi, Debbie. Oh, thanks for sharing. I appreciate it so much. Okay, let's get our big shot. Nope, not the big shot. This is the stamp and cut and die machine. <laughs> kind of a lot of words, but we're gonna cut out our 
little line here. And then we can put our card together because I think I have everything else die cut, but I did want to show how I colored. And if you haven't seen die cutting, then you'll want to see die cutting. This is a post-it tape that I ordered from Amazon. It comes on a roll, you know, just like scotch tape. And it just makes sure that your die doesn't move around on your image and get skewed so that it doesn't cut a nice even border all around it. And you can reuse it. You probably saw that I had this taped to my die cutting machine. I don't know if that was actually in the film or not, or in the video or not, but I do reuse it. So it works well for that. If you have washi tape, that works great too for the same reason. And then you just have post-it notes those work well too anything that's you know just slightly tacky all right we're going to check this out first so you want to make sure you do this if you're going to make this kind of a card so you're gonna this guy has to have room to sit here and can you see that i probably need i don't know if you can see that i don't think you're going to be able to see it too well but i need this tab to be a little bit longer so that's why you don't want to put your card together until you're sure and I don't even see my scissors. How can I use? Oh, here it is. Um, you want to make sure that you have that tab cut. I'm going to push this back out like this and close my card again. Here's my tab. And I'm just going to cut this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to probably go as far as a fourth of an inch. And I've already written up the instructions for this. And I said go about an inch or a little more. But if you need to watch the video again, you'll remember that you need to go farther than an inch. Okay, so now same thing, I'm gonna pull this this way so it bends right there. Okay, so we're gonna make new creases in our tab. So I'm pulling with my index finger on my right hand as I'm folding this so that it does this. Now we're gonna have this be a little wonky here, but it's not gonna show, so because our lion's gonna cover it up. So let's see if this works better. There we go, that works really well. And I probably could have made it a little bit shorter than that, but we're gonna go with it. You know what, it's a handmade card. Before we do that, let's stamp our greeting on the inside. So this is a definitely a baby card. So we're gonna put congratulations on your new little one in the middle here. I'm gonna do that with very, sorry for my arm. My ink pads are over to the left there. I had to get my, I'm standing up. So my arm got pretty close to the camera. Okay, this is Berry Burst. And we're gonna just ink up our stamp. And then, should have done this first because do as I say, not as I do. Because if you stamped it and it, the stamping didn't go as well, I'm gonna go pretty much up to the top here so that the lion doesn't cover up the greeting. But, if you stamp your greeting first and you muck it up, then you can just turn your card inside out and use the other side. If you've already done all this work on it that we've already done to get our tab exactly right, then it's a little bit trickier stamping it. So he's going to come like this. See how cute that is? So all you have to do with this guy, <clears throat> and I for today's video, I'm just going to use... Um, I'm just going to use regular adhesive, so, well, no, I'm not. Let's do, let's do dimensionals for him. You could, but you need a strong adhesive. Dimensionals are strong. Um, you could also, you could use your tape runner. If you use stamp and seal, you can use that. Stamp and seal plus would even be better. But I'm just going to, so I have control of this. Looks like I'm running out of Dimensionals, of course, because you know what, it's Facebook Live. So I'm going to kind of bend this over so I can kind of see where I want my dimensional to go. I'm going to put more than one. So I have a, I happen to have a scissors that has a Teflon coating on it that I use to cut up my dimensionals. I'll just cut up a few so we're ready to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put another one. I have to see where he's gonna sit. You know what? I'm gonna peel this off. 
you know, if you haven't watched me before, this is common. We make it and then we take it apart. So I'm gonna put it a little bit higher so I can put one underneath it like so. Can you see what I'm doing? Cause he's, his little body goes up and down. So of course this doesn't wanna stick. Come on, there we go. And then we'll just stick in our little lion here so that he's floating when we open the card. See how cute, and it's easy. You can do this, anybody can do it. All right, I'm gonna let that sit aside for a minute. Let's go ahead and finish the front of our, well, let's go ahead and put it in the card. And I'll show you that way too. So for this, I do the adhesive. It sometimes doesn't really wanna lay flat. So I'm going to put my adhesive on here. And then I'm going to close my card on it, like so. Okay, like there. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. Just put my adhesive here. And now I'm just going to shut this. Now, when you open it, it really doesn't want to lay flat but it closes nice and flat for mailing. And this is not too thick, so, and people can open it and they'll say, oh, how cute. Because you know, getting a card in the mail is like a present, it's a gift. Because people just don't get cards anymore. So people are thrilled to get a card to begin with, let alone one that you made for them. <clears throat> this um, is a piece of four by five and a quarter lemon lime twist cardstock and I used the 3D basics embossing folders, the dotted one. So there's three in that group and one of them is dotted. So I thought it worked well for this particular card. Let's go ahead and put another greeting on the front. So I'm gonna grab a star is born and we'll get our little greeting here. I'm going to put this a little bit towards the, not quite right in the middle, a little below the middle because I'm going to put a ribbon on the top, a bow. So I just want to make sure it, the ribbon doesn't cover up my, my ribbon doesn't cover up my greeting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of this one and we'll pop it up like so. Um, what are you watching on Netflix? Anybody watching a series on Netflix or any other of the channels that are subscription channels? I am watching Suits. I guess I'm late to the game because there's eight seasons of Suits. And I just started watching it and it's so good. I, it's so good. So I'm taking my green ribbon from this Ribbon Duo pack, it's called. Such an exciting name for a pack of ribbon. So it has this gorgeous petal pink with a white stripe. And then I'm letting that focus. I just don't want to move too fast because of the comment last week that sometimes it was blurry. And I think the camera maybe doesn't catch up with my, I'm going to move this a bit, doesn't keep up with the speed I'm moving. So I'm going to, when I show you things, I'm going to hold them up to the camera a little bit longer so that they, so the camera focuses. Okay, I'm just making my ribbon here. I love this ribbon combination because I like the little white stripes it has in it. Can you see them? Yeah, you can see them a little bit there. And I'm going to make a fairly loopy bow for this card. Maybe even a little bit bigger. Pull it. This ribbon is easy to adjust. So I really like it. Okay, now let's stick our ribbon on a mini glue dot. I'm just putting the knot right on the mini glue dot like so. And then we're gonna put that at the top of our little card here. And then I die cut 
So in the set of dies here, there is this set of dies that cuts three big ones. I showed you this one, but this little one, I've been cutting stars with that too. So I cut some shimmer stars. There, there's a set of paper in the annual catalog that has all shimmer paper in it. And this is one of the colors. It's called Soft Shimmer. That's the name of it. Soft Shimmer 12 by 12. And then I also have a little moon here. This die is also in this set. Everything I'm using here is in the set except for this die. And I always die cut that for you if you uh, put in a purchase to get this class for free. All the um, die cutting and embossing will be done of the of the elements that don't come with the bundle. So anything that comes, what this doesn't want to come off. I guess I use blue dots. I thought I was going to use um, dimensionals, but we're going to go with this because I already have adhesive on them. Um, so just so you know, in your kit, anything that is a die that comes, let me put this up here, that comes in the bundle we're using won't be die cut for you, but I'll give you all of the, all of the paper to do it. So you get this paper and then you'll have to do it, but I will have this label cut for you. Anything that isn't in the that isn't in the set of dies of the bundle that we're featuring will be done for you. And the embossing folder will be done for you as well. So you won't get stamped images with your kit because Stampin' Up! doesn't allow us to send stamped images. Let's see, where should we put our little moon? Let's put it kind of off to the side maybe. Well, that'll work, I think. You know, the, the wow of this card is obviously opening it up. And then I did go to our, these are 20 to, 20, 2023 to 2025 in color dots. I don't know if these are available right now, but I have enough for you. I have enough to give everybody that orders $50 or more. Um, uh, pack of these so don't worry about it I've got them um, and I have quite a few so let's get this over here now I'm using the yellow ones here but I kind of like it with the green I thought it looked pretty so and it gave it just a little bit of contrast so there's our first card hi Kim so what do you think of this one? Do you think you'll try this? I would love for you to try it. And if you try it, I would love for you to let me know that you tried it and even show me your card. So you can you can put comments on my page. Um, and if you're not a member of my Create with Joey Stampers group, that's my community. Um, I share there a lot too. You can share there too. So other people share on that group as well. Okay, there's card number one, my friends. So I hope, I hope you like it. And I want to know if you're going to try it or not, if you would try it. Okay, let's move on to our number two card. So we're going to use some of the same colors on the number two card as well. And we're going to use the Glorious Gingham Paper for this one. And I've already got this guy stamped and colored because I don't think you need me to stamp and color for you. But this gingham paper, it's in the annual catalog or it's in the online store, whichever you, wherever you like to shop. So it comes with blueberry bushel, lemon lime twist, pretty peacock, pecan pie, and berry burst. So it has that small check on one side and then it has the large um, check on the other side. So I've been really anxious to use this paper. So um, this was it. So I know these are kind of baby colors, but not really, not exactly what we really think of light blue and light pink for babies. But I don't know, I think babies would like bright colors too. And parents of babies. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this one. For this card, you'll have a piece of Berry Burst. This will come in your kit and you'll get two of these. And it'll be seven and a half by 
five and a half and it'll be scored at four and a quarter just like your regular card let's use our bone folder for this and then let's go ahead and put the inside of our card in this piece of white is four inches by five and a quarter and for time purposes i'm not going to stamp anything on the inside i don't think maybe i will when we're done but this so this is what we have so far <clears throat> so far then we're going to take this scallop is from the scalloped contours dies this is shimmery that shimmery just feel like you're not getting very much light and i'm not sure why but this is the shimmery berry burst so and there are five colors there's pretty peacock we're gonna go ahead and put this down pretty peacock um blueberry bushel i'm gonna miss one knight of navy well let's just not let's just not guess at this let's actually figure it out so let me let me tell you where it is and what colors are in it let me grab my catalog and so on page 127 it's number seven it's called soft shimmer and the colors are bubble bath which we're using today berry burst night of navy lost lagoon and pretty peacock i couldn't think of lost lagoon so that's on page 127 of your annual catalog if you don't have an annual catalog if you're watching and you don't have a demonstrator uh, let me know i'm happy to be sure that you get one okay so i'm going to put adhesive on the very edge of this part and then i'm going to just get my little scallop down here i'm matching it up with the with the white piece and i'm trying to get an even border from here to here and that's how I'm lining it up there, okay? So then, um, I actually, I'm gonna go up a little bit because I should have put my adhesive on the scallop itself because putting it that close to the edge of the white was not catching the adhesive that I already put on the card. So we're gonna try that again and line it up again so we have an equal margin there and now that i'm good so now i covered up all my adhesive so that's good all right so we've got that then let's take a piece of berry burst glorious gingham and let's this is three inches by five and a quarter three inches by five and a quarter then as i said i'm not going to sit here and have you watch me color but i just stamped this little guy with Memento black ink, and then I colored with smoky slate markers. I'm gonna grab my dimensionals here and get some dimensionals on this guy. Oh, Debbie, you're gonna try it? Oh, I love it. Jill, you're gonna try too? Fabulous. I can't wait to see them. It's a little tricky to get a picture of the inside but you know that's where the cuteness is so you have to any any way you take your picture i'm gonna love seeing it so it, it doesn't matter um all righty so this die i took that we're gonna use here i took from the nested essentials dies i took the smallest one here i've been using these a lot friends if you don't have these they're a nice addition to your collection they're called nested essentials. Then we're going to put um, our greeting on here, little baby big love. And it just fits. Let's, hopefully I'll get it. I'll get it right. <laughs> but again, I've just had a lot of fun with this set. I'm loving that you are liking the cards today and enjoying see it does just fit so you know the other way to do it obviously is to stamp first and then die cut it and then you don't have to worry if you're going to get the placement right or not um let's see i should have some more stuff yeah i do in my envelope so these little cloud dies also come with the set and the dies 
and I had a heart. Where's my heart? I had one. Okay, I actually know I have another one back here. A little spare one. So we're going to grab that one. There we go. Okay, now we've got all our stuff. This is still that soft shimmer paper. Let's go ahead and add our label here. I kind of, I don't want this uh, little cute little elephant um, covered up very much. We're going to have to cover his feet, but just the bottom of his feet, then the rest is going to be okay. So this dimensional I'm putting right next to the circle. I don't want my dimensionals from the circle stacking up on my dimensionals with the tag. Let's see, we can go about here so that it adds a double thickness for mailing. So it's just better all around if you can do it like this. Um, but again, I'll have the shimmer paper in your kit if you purchase the kit. And if you put in a $50 order, I don't know if I said that, but if you do, you also get the, I need more dimensionals here. You'll also get the gems, the and color dots. The were sold out. I think they still are. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I have quite a few. I don't know what happened, whether I ordered a whole bunch or um, stamping up. Whoops, that's not going to work. Well, it might. We'll try it. We just kind of want the clouds. No, that's not going to work. Let's put the adhesive right in there. And then let's go ahead and put a little more adhesive that's flat. So we're not going to pop this cloud up. We're going to put it, let's get it up here a ways. Pink clouds are okay on a baby card, yes? I think so. If you don't like pink clouds, then you can obviously put white ones or light blue ones. Maybe you would prefer that. Let's see, this dimensional has to go to the far outside as well. And then we're just gonna kinda tuck this one up next to the bigger one. So he's got two clouds and then let's put our sweet little heart here. I do need a round one. Looks like I need many dimensionals. I kind of want this to look like it's he's holding it with his trunk. So I'm going to kind of go up here and put my dimensional has to stick to my wants to stick to my finger. Okay, so. Dim mini dimensionals do definitely come in handy. Hi, hi Debbie. Oh good, you're gonna try it too. I love that. And I would love to see your cards too. Okay, so there we've got this one. Then let's go ahead and for this one, I used, uh, this is Pebble Path for one of our new ink colors. And I used it on this card because we had the gray, the gray elephant. So I thought that would tie in to the little elephant. We'll put these here and here. So and maybe there. So I know I don't have any ribbon. Oh, there's my heart. I knew I'd cut it, but you know, things disappear. So we had to be prepared. <laughs> Okay, so there's, you know, in your kit, you would get the supplies for these four plus the third one I'm going to make. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started on our third one. So this one, we're going to use the sweet little cow that's in this set. Let's go ahead and pull out all the parts and the card base. And there's a little heart on this one as well, a light pink one. And I have done all the die cutting. If you're new to stamping and you're like, well, I would really like to see how you did the die cutting. Um, I'm sorry, I know I didn't show it in this video, but I did show the die cutting the little um, lion in the beginning. And that's all you do for the shapes too. 
you just put them in the same sandwich that I showed you at the beginning and it'll cut your shapes out for you. By shapes, I mean like the moon and the stars and the hearts. By the way, for the hearts, they are not in this set of dies. They are from the Give It a Whirl dies in the annual catalog. If you ever have a rough edge on your cardstock, you can just take like a memory board and just smooth it out like that. So, you know, sometimes if you are just happy crafting along and your paper trimmer actually needs the blade changed, but you don't really think about it until you're doing a Facebook Live video, <laughs> then you have to grab your emery board and get your edges smoothed out of your cardstock. Isn't this a pretty soft, is this just, it's, I don't have, think I've actually used pecan pie before, but I will be using it. And then this piece is three by four, and then we're gonna put it on just a little bit bigger paper. So if you get my tutorials, I have a measurement that might be confusing. So what I call this part is, so this, the DSP is three by four. So this white piece is three and one eighth by four and one eighth, but plus a sixteenth of an inch. So three and one eighth plus a sixteenth and four and one eighth plus a sixteenth. So my nomenclature in my tutorial is a plus because that's what I just use for myself. Um, I put three and one eighth plus because who's going to count sixteenths? I mean, I know there are math people out there. They're like, I would count the sixteenths, Joey, but, um, it's to I'm not a math person and the easiest way I have to make it easy, which is I just put a plus means to add another 16th. If you just go three and one eighth by four and one eighth, it can be sometimes hard to actually get it to be an even border. It's just so skinny of a border. Am I doing this right? Yeah. It's just so skinny of a border that sometimes I don't do it very well. So I add that extra 16th and that seems to be helpful. Okay, now I'm gonna take this, or some from that same set of nested essential dies, and then we're gonna go ahead and stamp our greeting in this. We're gonna go back to our congratulations. And I just wanna make sure it's really clean because I don't wanna stick very burst ink in a pecan pie. <laughs> cardstock also too if you have a little speck of paper or lint or something you can just take that off very gently with your stampin snips just your small scissors is all that means we call them stampin we call them snips in the catalog I actually think they're either on low inventory or they're not available. I think they're low inventory. Okay, so congratulations on your new little one. And I guess I'm thinking this would probably be for a boy, although I am going to use a little bit of pink on it. Let's set that aside and let's go ahead and get our little cow um, stamped. i got to find the little cow though. Let's see if I... Oh, I didn't get it on a block, so let me just grab a block here. Get it on a block. I have quite a few blocks because I still do classes in person. So I have to have quite a few to do them in person. So we're going to go back to our Memento Black to use with our blends markers. And I'm going to ink that up really, really well. Then stamp our little sweet little sleeping cow, little baby calf. And then we're going to color. Color them in. Um, my friend Kim that was just on here, she just had a new grandbaby. She's my helper too. She's on my team and she's my helper that comes most of the, she's the one that comes most of the time. I have a couple of other helpers too, but she's the most constant. She just had a grandbaby yesterday and I was thinking of it because she sent me a picture of, his name's Oliver, of Oliver sleeping. And it made me remember how much babies 
sleep in the beginning. Uh-oh, that's wrong. Well, okay, that's not going to work, kids. Let's, and I can't turn it over because I colored it wrong, but I have scrap paper right here, so we're just going to do another. I think he'll fit on this one. Yeah, he will. Just Since I just started coloring, I'm going to just redo it. And this will just take me a second. Okay, there we go. Now I'll pay more attention instead of talking about babies. I'll pay more attention to making my card. So this is going to calm down like this. So he has kind of a brown stripe on his face. Like so. Anyway, little Oliver, she sent me a picture of him and he was sleeping. And... They're just so sweet when they're sleeping. They're sweet when they're awake too, but... We, um... <clears throat> we, our newest great nephew is, he's probably about three months now. And he's getting pretty active actually. <laughs> sleeping better through the night at least. Okay, so we're using our pecan pie for this little guy. And we're not going to color the whole cow because, as I said, I like to color a little. I don't like to color a lot. And then I'm going to actually make his little nose bubble bath. So I've got my bubble bath marker here. We're just going to do light, bubble bath light for his little nose here. All right, now we just have to die cut him and then we can put our card together. So let's go ahead and die cut and my um my comments have frozen so if you're asking me questions or trying to um speak to me or say hello i'm not seeing it so i will come back i always come back and read my comments and answer you say hello or try and answer your question we're gonna stick this little guy on here and then again with the post-it tape and then we need the top here to my die cutting machine. Where is it? Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, you guys, if you were here, you would see how organized I am when I start and then I can't find anything. Well, I have a, a pretty cut up sheet. You're not going to be able to actually see this cut very well because I keep my clear one for Facebook Live so that you can actually see me cut it. So I'm sorry for that, but we got him cut out so we can, we can move on and finish our card. So <clears throat> I like these. The elephant does take some coloring, although I did a couple elephants yesterday that I didn't color. I'll show those to you because I was thinking for my team cards, I was thinking about having a blue elephant. So I know I'm off the subject of the cats. The cats? The cow. Oh boy. Oh, I don't see my blue elephants. But anyway, you could stamp your elephants in black on colored cardstock. <clears throat> and that would... That would save some coloring. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Let's see, how do I want this? Maybe we should get this figured out first. Let's go ahead and adhere this. I'm kind of feeling for where my dimensionals are on the <clears throat> on the this panel that's behind this uh, flagged label so that I don't Again, pile up my dimensionals on top of other dimensionals. So we're going to get this here. And then let's put our cap down here because we're going to put... Oh, no, I did this wrong already. I knew I was missing something. So this goes here. I might be able to pull this up a little bit. There we go. So this is from that same set of nested essential styles. And I'm actually going to use mini glue dots on this. Sparkle paper 
doesn't really love adhesive, but many glue dots and dimensionals hold it pretty well. They're so sticky. You could use glue too, but I just don't want to take the time on Facebook to, to use glue. So I'm just going to put this here for just a little accent. So actually, you could give this for either a boy or a girl baby card because it has a little touch of pink, but then it has all the pecan pie. So then let's just stick our little calf down here. We're going to make him just go off the label just a touch. Give it a little bit more dimension. And then we're going to make room for our little heart. This is the Give It A Whirl hearts. So I think I said that earlier, but if I didn't, those are the dies I use for the hearts on these cards. And I can't find my regular dimensionals. I guess we did a lot of, I'd made a lot of swap cards for my team yesterday. I participate in my team swaps. So we did use quite a few dimensionals yesterday, finishing up those cards. And let's tuck this little heart behind him. And we're not done. Let's add some gems. Let's grab back our in color dots and we'll add, this is really moody mauve it's supposed to be, but you know, gems can really actually work on different colors other than the ones that they are exactly supposed to match because you know, they're gems. So let's put one there. And I really, really like the combination of the, the pinky mauvey colors with the pecan pie. That was kind of a surprise. I saw it someplace um, and I thought, oh, that actually is really pretty. So there's that one. Again, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm missing your comments. Let me refresh my screen and see if it'll bring up, bring up your comments again. I'm trying that while I get these out here. So here's our cards. So here's your kit. Um, Here's all the cards you'll get in your kit. So you'll get supplies for six cards, two each of each of these. And then um, I'm just going to let you know. So I'm going to do another drawing, and I think this is going to be for a gift certificate. So every order that's coming in, I've already gave away my July ladybugs. We, we filled more than a page. We had a page plus a second page. Um, so every order that's $35 or more uh, gets a ladybug for a ticket and the drawing, which it I think it's going to be a gift certificate and a stamp set, but I'll have that set by next week and I'll send it out through my email. If you're not a member of my email, um, I'm going to just click in. Oh, thank you, Susan. So I do see I do see a few more comments coming in, but I'm going to click in the comments my... Uh, link to join my email list so that you can get my free tutorials. Every week I send at least one free tutorial to my subscribers. Um, so, so if you're watching on YouTube, this will be in the video description. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, it's you'll have to thumb through the comments, but it's going to be towards the bottom, so it won't be too hard to find. And then just a last minute uh, request. I I didn't think I would be able to earn the Mexico trip for it's the incentive trip this year for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. But I had a pretty good last two months, which in the summer are usually really, really slow. So this is how far I've come to earn my trip. I do have to earn it by the end of September. So I have August and September. So if you are um, thinking about ordering, I would love to be your demonstrator and I would love to... Uh, let me help you with your card making. And if you would purchase supplies from me, that would be really lovely and it would help me as well. Okay, my friends, we are done with our class today. You have until Sunday night to use this host code to get these cards for free in the mail. Or if you're local, you can get it by porch pickup. Oh, you're welcome, Jill. Thanks for coming and joining me. Whoops, let me get this straight. There you go, straight and red. And oh boy, there's a big glare. Let me take my glasses off so it's not glaring quite so much. 
All right, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day and I would like to see you back next week and we'll have some more stamping fun together. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.